Hello, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. For some unknown reason to me and mankind, I thought it would be fun today to challenge myself to share with you the five bags that I would save if my house were on fire. So no practicality coming into this, no what are the best day bags, night bags, none of that. Just the house is on fire, my family is safe, my dogs are safe, what are the five bags that I'm going to save? Now I know this would be complete and utter first world problems, but if I can be forgiven for my addiction, this was hard. Thinking about this, if I if I had pressure to pick, it, th this was difficult, but let's get started. Before we do, I'm saving the Neverfull. That's not counted because you all know that's going to happen. And I'm going to cheat by saying these five are going in the Neverfull. But of these bags in this room, the five that I would save if the house were on fire, number one, this one might not come as a surprise to many of you because this bag is fast becoming one of my favourites and would be, oh, it's just a piece itself and it's this. If this house was on fire, this baby's coming with me in the Neverfull because it's just, it's exquisite. It came from Milan when I was there for my husband. If you've watched my channel before, I'm very sentimental. I associate things with places and what I've bought, a bag, so on and so forth. I have a lot of sentimentality attached to this and it's com it's completely stunning. It's also very expensive for my bag collection and I would not want to have to purchase it again. I would, I, I don't think that um, if the house was on fire, buying this again would be top of my priority list. So it's coming with me and I, I definitely would be grabbing this one. This was one of the easier ones of these five that I just knew would be coming out that door with me. Number two, this was really hard because there's so many other bags that I would also want to grab in this room. And I know that there's going to be some favorites from you guys that you're going to be screaming at the screen going to be, no, don't leave that one behind or take that one with you. And I know that some of your favorites and the ones that get a lot of love on this channel are going to be left behind. And But I had to pick five and number two is this one. Now, I know this is going to surprise some people. Maybe not if you've listened to me talk about this bag, but compared to probably some of the bags in here and how hard it would be to get them and how much they cost and all of that, this one is probably surprising. But I absolutely adore this bag. This bag speaks straight to my soul. I, I love this bag. This is an old Louis Vuitton Petite Mal. It took me a long time to track this down in the fuchsia. It would be hard again to track this down in the fuchsia. I think this bag is a complete and utter vibe. I was very tempted to say that I was also going to bring the Monogram Classic Petite Mal. That's one of the ones that was high up on the discussion. I know that would be easily purchased again, but that particular one is the one that I bought in Paris with Bestie for my 40th birthday. So there's a lot attached to that. That one was ooh, really, really calling me to get into this top five because of all those attachments to it. But the one that picked it <laughs> was this, because I don't know if I could find this again. I, I freaking love this bag. I just, it's, I think the black against the fuchsia and the bright gold hardware, and it's just, a, I just love it. I absolutely have a lot of feels for this bag. And that is up there but I know I could replace that and I know it wouldn't be the same one, but I'm pretty sure I could convince Bestie to get back on a plane and go back to Paris and we can buy another one in Paris. I don't think convincing him of that would be all that difficult. Getting it past my husband might be a little bit more difficult, but we'll not worry about that. So this one is going to stay in the five that I'm grabbing if the house is on fire and I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm doubting, I'm, I'm, I'm recalculating as we go and doubting. But number three that's coming out of the flames is the deal bag. It's this one. And I, 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 I recently, I, I'm stuttering as I'm tripping over my words. I recently bought the pink version, which is the Meredith on this channel. That's what that bag is called after Living Lux with Meredith. Um, and I will link Meredith down below in the description box. I adore her. The pink one is new. I would want to save both, but I'm saving the purple. I'm saving the deal. This is the original. This was the original Sex in the City 
Fendi Baguette in the sequenced this I am a child of the 80s formative years in the 90s grew up on sex in the city got a lot of my life education whether that's a good thing or not on sex in the city so this bag has a lot of emotion attached to it it has a lot of memories it has a lot of significance and I I think this would be one of the five that's getting grabbed. I love this bag as well. I love to wear this bag. I love to use this bag. They do come up periodically on the website that you can order them. One of you guys messaged me not that long ago. You were able to get it. So I know that there would be a chance to replace it. But I just, I just don't think I could leave this one behind. And Dale from Dale's Addiction, I will also link. And as you all know, if you've been here for a while, is a very, very special person to me. This just, there's just a lot attached to this bag. And... She's number three. Now it's getting, it's getting hard. Um, I have chosen the Birkin. I've chosen the Birkin as number four. A big part of the reason, I don't want to pay for one of these again. Don't, don't, don't want to do that. I bought mine pre-loved to get the specific and exact specifications that I wanted. I wanted a Birkin 25 in Togo, in Palladium, in Rose Papri, there was no negotiation on any of those elements. And that meant going directly to a reseller to source it, to search it and find it and buying it and buying that premium. And I don't want to do that again because that was not, it, it, not that it wasn't an enjoyable experience. The reseller was fabulous and it all went very, very smoothly, but it's an awful lot of money. And I just, I'm, being a little bit more sensible in my life these days and I just I just don't want to do that again and I love this bag so when I have one I'm taking this out the door with me because I don't want to go down that route again and she's special and she's beautiful uh, yeah I do you know and I'm I'm I know I'm coming across like a blabbering idiot and if you're new to my channel hi welcome please consider staying normally I'm more eloquent than this and normally I can string a sentence together but this thought has me a little bit uh, on edge let's say but this this one for the for now this one is coming for number five I'm looking around the room we have the rose gold Chanel mini that would be hard to leave we have the Artie Capucines the mini Capucines up there that was my first with the plexiglass handle the Meredith bag I've talked about, the Petite Mal I've talked about, some of these fabulous Chanel minis, there's a sequence mini over there, there's the Chanel classic flap that I bought for an achievement in work over there. The, ooh, but what I am between for number five, what I have picked off the shelves and set myself aside to be between was this Chanel mini, which if you've been around for a while will know it took me a long time to track this down. It was this very specific, beautiful, color that I wanted. This is the 18B purple. It's called purple but it's it's more of a raspberry berry. That's pretty true on screen. It's in lamb skin. It's in chevron. It's the color of this bag and I was obsessed with this bag. I had to have it. Tracked it down. Love this bag. Equally love this bag. Love this mini capucine. This was also hard to get. This has the Malachite hardware. It is in the mini size with the gold hardware. I love both of these bags. I have a lot of feels attached to these and I'm really struggling for number five to decide which one. If the uh, fire alarm is ringing and I need to grab the last one, I'm, I'm... Please go into the comment box and tell me of these two, which would be the last one you think I should save? And if I haven't included the one that you're screaming at the camera about or the screen and saying, you silly woman, why did you leave that bag behind? Tell me which one it is. Tell me which one it is that you would have definitely had in this top five. I'm, I think I'm going with this one. I think, I think I'm going with this one because I would, I would want a Chanel Mini. That means I've no Mini Capucines, but the Chanel Mini is a lot easier to use than the Mini Capucines. This one, this colour, I just adore. It It really, really is my colour. It gets me and I, I think it's, I think it's this one. I'm, I, I know, by the way, that there is people in the world right now going through really actual horrific things. This is for escapism and it is to enjoy this love that we have. So do I really think that what bags I save if my house is on fire is the worst thing in the world? Of course not. But please take this video in the manner in which it was intended. 
I think it's this one. I think it's this. I can't imagine leaving this one behind. It was so hard to find and I love the colour but uh, I think it's this one. Those are the five that I have <laughs> painstakingly put together that I think are the five that would be coming with me if the house went on fire. The five that I would save plus the Neverfill because they're all going in there which is a slight cheat. Now, because I love and adore her <laughs> And because I know she loves me back and she will eventually forgive me for putting her in this position and making her face this. Meredith, darling Meredith, out of all of those bags in your bag room, I think it's over 500, correct me if I'm wrong. You have done videos before talking about your favourites and we got you to narrow down your pink favourite and denims and all of this. If your house is on fire, everybody else is safe. Everybody's safe. What of all of those bags are the five that you are saving and taking with you? I, for one, am very interested to know because I know how many bags are in your collection and I know what your collection means to you. And I think the rest of us would like to know out of them all what five are coming. So please, Meredith, do this video and tell us if your house is on fire, what are the five bags that you are keeping? I know that I'm about to, when this goes live and Meredith watches it, get a not very friendly message left on my phone, but it's worth it because I would love to see it and I, I know you'll take this in good sport. I hope this was enjoyable. Please take it in the manner it was meant. It is for light relief. It was for escapism. It was a bit of fun. Please, if you've enjoyed this, consider giving it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please consider subscribing. And if you're not done with me yet, I'm going to leave another video for you on the screen to enjoy. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching me. Please take care and I will see you again in the next one.